our universe is infinite as it goes on and on. There are 33 suns without the universe, many others, but they are very important for different societies to live and cohibit. The sun that's closest to the earth is one of the few that is very powerful as it lets the society live and breathe, to be alive, to feel, to feel emotions. In time, there was a shield placed over the sun. As for the human eye, it's hard to look into as it burns. This is a protection shield within the sun. It created earth, a place of many different minerals, soil, of life. The earth is the center of the universe. There is a protective shield that's created within the planet earth. And through many different other life forms that was envious of this galaxy, it tried many different ways to destruct this planet through asteroids. It was able to succeed, which caused a crack within the atmosphere. And that crack now, through the conscious minds of the human beings, has been influenced from these other life forms. There are portals where the ones will sit and enter. They are constantly trying to find ways so that there will not be any more humanity on Earth. They've tried the sun as well. But the sun is so protected that it's almost impossible to destruct that. The sun is like a god to many as it gives creation, but it can also be very destructive if not looked at in that way. It can create and it could cause death as well. There are planets that are aligned together as one in a certain unit. When one is hit and off track and planets that human beings might not even know of. It vibrates from one to another. And through that vibration, there becomes change. And through that change becomes influence. And through that influence becomes control. And through that control becomes out of control. And through that out of control becomes violence. If we see and are aware of this, that cannot manifest within your planet. It is vital to protect the planet Earth, to take care of the fields, the living creatures, the water, the air. This is what they don't want. The Earth feels this but it has no way to speak. And the only way it can speak is through destruction of earthquakes, hurricanes, tremendous tornadoes, destruction. It's trying to communicate with humanity as a wake-up call. And it's coming to a point when the planet can no longer accept what it sees or feels. It could come out like a lion in a den, yelling to be heard. Why are you against each other? For your creation within me, yet you want to turn on me. It's calling for help. But the sun is there to protect it like a shield as they are connected in many different ways. Within the sun 
are many answers that sighed. But the heat that it raised, only few can enter inside. And these are the ones that are being hunted in many ways, very few in existence now. The cracks that are within the earth from the other energies that enter on a spiritual level where we cannot see as human beings are slowly being sealed. They're being sealed by the ones that have left the planet. Their consciousness is still around, as many may feel. Just because the body is not there does not mean they're not there. They are the ones also to give the answers of the loved ones that have passed on. Many will not listen to them. They will think it's crazy. There will be thoughts that come within the mind and they will think they were just thoughts. But in reality, it's the consciousness of that living being at one time that is there giving the answers and need and time. Those consciousnesses are the ones that are able to travel through time and space. They are able to see what is going on on the outside of the planet. Each and every human being can connect with them through a type of meditation, through ones have, that have the connection with them. These consciousness that have passed on, if they have not cleared within themselves, they too can influence the human mankind because they're also lost within themselves through different emotions like grief, anger, resentment, hate. That is why it's so important before the time of going on the other dimension or realm to be cleared within this. It is connection between a human and a consciousness that is no longer in body. The human mind and the eyes need to see in order to believe in many ways. They need to feel as they go through life. They see their dead ones pass on or loved ones pass on. They go to a cemetery, as they would say, because to them it feels that a connection. But what they don't realize, it's the consciousness. That consciousness is always there to some point. Maybe not to the top of 100% of the consciousness, but there is still parts within it. The body needs to be cleansed. Water has always been a conductor. It's able to actually respond to cells within the body. Anytime the body is placed within water, it is connected in consciousness the answers will arise as if it's a vessel. The body is a vessel with the water and the water can actually connect in knowledge and forms and images. That's why in time and history, there was always cleansing of the water or re-being born within the water. It's clearing the mind as well. It cleans the aura, the energy body, so that the body can be healthy and the mind can be cleared for the knowledge to come through. I want every human and humanity to look outside them right now, for each and everything is a reflection of what they need to see within themselves, good and bad. In each and every reflection outside of them, they will see a part of themselves that might irritate them in ways that they might not understand. But if they look deep into that, into that other part, into that mirror, they will get signs and symbols 
memories, pictures of why they feel they do. Again, that's why it's so important to cleanse the body. There are so many important things to tell right now. Human beings have a gift of senses, and one sense that is still there but cannot be seen. If they become aware of their senses, each and every one of them, they'll start to see other senses within their body, not just the feeling and the smells and the seeing and the hearing. There are many other senses within the body, but we cannot see them with the human eye. It's like being awoken. You ask, how is this possible? The only way it's possible is to know thyself, to be clear of lower vibration frequencies, to be one with the earth, with the stars, with the air, with the water, to feel, to smell, to see, to taste, nature, to hear, every little tone, every little tone from the blow of the leaves within a tree, from a little ant on a leaf trying to pull its food. If you look at a little ant at the creature it is, it works so hard for survival. It is only aware of that one thing in the now to be aware of all these little things from the time you awaken to the time you sleep. And even in sleep, there's even more awareness that will come in time when you understand the senses and the many other ones that are placed within you. It will help you become aware from the dream state you are, of who you are, you can use those senses in that dream state as well. You can see, feel, taste, touch, hear. And through this existence of dream state will be other parts within you that will connect, that will stay within the human body in the time of the awakened state. It is always, if it's a learning process, there are many different points and views of allowing this process. It's a creation within thyself. For the knowledge is within you. I leave you with peace, light and love.